Hello, warm, warm greetings all of you. My name is Larod Puya from Mizoram University. Today I am going to present spectroscopic studies of rhodomyne B dye and dopin silica matrix. As we know that laser dyes within various hosts that is in liquid and solid phase suggest attractive material for using to enable laser applications because they have large fluorescence bandwidth. Also, dye laser has many advantages such as in operation, lack of toxicity, inflammability, and high photostability. And nanoparticles can also be embedded for improving the optical property. And <clears throat> there can also be transfer of energy between nanoparticles and rhodomyne B. This transfer of energy has great interest in science and has potential application in the areas of luminescence taking. Imaging medical diagnostic and most recently in biosensor. So that's why in our research work we study the optical properties of rhodomyne B dye in liquid and solid phase that is embedded in silica host. And we study their characterization and see these nanoparticles doped with concentration of rhodomyne dye in 10 to power minus 6 to 10 to power minus 3 concentration. Our investigation provides information about interaction between CDS and rhodomyne. So for our experimental method, we follow the Solzell method for the sample for our sample preparation. Rhodomyne dye solution is prepared by mixing 20 ml of ethanol with RBH concentration rhodomyne concentration S from 10 to power minus 6 to 10 to power minus 3 for <coughs> forming silica. EOS is we use the oasis as our main precursor in the presence of distilled water. And for the preparation of cadmium sulfate, we add in together cadmium acetate, um, triethylonamine, NH4OH, tyria, and distilled water. The spectrum that is absorption as fluorescence were recorded in UV visible region using Horiba imaging. <coughs> spectrometer and so synergy software. So in our result and discussion, let me go straight to the, our first graph that is graph of absorption spectra of rhodomyne B dao with ethanol at three different concentrations and dope with silica dust. That is what we have shown in figure number one and figure number A and B. Here we can see that absorption intensity increases with Increasing the concentration of rhodomyne B in absorption spectra of rhodomyne B in silica host. The wavelength, wavelength maximum on Damex occurs at 526, 553, and 566 nanometers. So the receive occur in fluorescence spectra of rhodomyne at different concentration of also dope in silica class. That is what we have shown in figure. To A and B. The band tunability for liquid phase is from 520 to 750 nanometer and for solid phase is 450 to 800 nanometer. So we can see that solid exhibit a broader than the liquid phase. And fluorescent wavelength of dye in silica glass is slightly blue sieve as the concentration of dye increases. And we can see that intensity becomes maximum at 1 is to 10 power minus 4 mole per liter. And minimum at one is one is to ten per minus three concentration. So for our num step number <coughs> experiment number three, that is absorption and fluorescence spectra of rhodomyne dye in different concentration with a fixed concentration of CDS, as we shown in figure three and four. Here we can see that absorption band having a longer wavelength was found at we found out that five six. 8 nanometer and smaller band was found at 5 to 6 nanometer. For fluorescence spectrum, we can see that emission transition start from vibrationally lowest lying level of first excited state S and N at vibrationally ground electronic state. From absorption spectrum, that is from the absorption graph, we can <coughs> calculate the molecular absorption coefficient also. And for Fluorescence spectra wavelength increases from 592 nanometer to 593 and constant at 593 nanometer onwards. 
if there is sensing spectroscopic properties that is due to dipole-dipole interaction and hydrogen bonding between our sample that is CDS and <coughs> protamine dye. For step number four, red, that is fluorescent spectra with varying concentration of rhodamine B and fixed concentration of CDS4 excitation wavelength 370 and 450 as we shown in figure 5 and 6. It is observed that fluorescent spectra of CDS gradually quenches with corresponding rhodamine dye fluorescence at 592 nanometer. That is when CDS is excited. Excitation, its excitation energy is transferred to rhodamine dye, except or through dipole dipole interaction. They can transfer energy because of fluorescent quenching of donor molecule with increasing the fluorescent intensity of acceptor. This spectrum source, that is figure <coughs> 5 and 6, this spectrum source a good thread between, good thread pair between them. So for our next step. That is energy transfer between CDS and rhodamine, as shown in figure 7. This was a good spectral overlap between fluorescent spectrum of donor, our donor CDS and absorption spectrum of the acceptor rhodamine dye. So, for excitation wavelength of 317, fluorescent peak of CDS for 536 nanometer and absorption spectrum of rhodamine B for 529 nanometer shows a good overlap. This spectral overlap occurs due to fluorescence quenching of donor. This confirmed that there is energy transfer from CDS donor to rhodamine dye has a high probability transfer. That is what <coughs> we have found out from our result and discussion. And also let me go to our conclusion. In our conclusion part, we have also mentioned uh, some works what we have uh, also studied. Uh, here we have also the studied molecular extinction coefficient, absorption, section, fluorescence, cross section, fluorescence, quantum meal, fluorescence spectra, absorption spectra, spectra overlap. From our graph, we here we find that receive in rhodamine dye laser because we have increases as the Rhodamine concentration increases and the energy transfer efficiency using donor and X using donor CDS and acceptor rhodamine B is 24.13% and 40.89% and average lifetime of CDS is 2.16 nanoseconds and with transfer energy efficiency is 8.26%. Okay, thank you.